Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the acorn that I showed you how to draw last week in order to turn an A4 canvas into an infinite tile. So we're going to click on this plus sign up here at the top, and I'm going to choose A4. You'll have to look for it. Uh, here it is on mine. And that brings up our A4 canvas. which as you can see is 2480 by 3508 pixels. And what we're going to do is use the acorn that we created. I'm going to set the size of the acorn to 29%. And then I'm just going to tap in a few times here and there. We don't want to go over the edge. And then I'm going to click on layers and then add a layer and fill that layer. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity way down. I'm going to duplicate layer two and duplicate layer one. And with the top layer one highlighted, I want to slide the top layer two to the right and that selects it. I'm then going to use the transform tool. That's this arrow up here. Down here at the bottom where it says snapping, I want to make sure to turn on both magnetics and snapping. My distance is set to 20. My velocity is set to 6.1 because that's what works best for me. You can change it to whatever works best for you. Now I'm going to slide my canvas so that it is halfway through. You can see right there, you get an orange line in the middle and the green line right here is all the way on the edge of the page. Now I'm going to go back to my layers. I'm going to select the second layer two and slide the second layer one over. And we're going to move this the opposite direction. So I'm going to put it to the right here. Once again, this green line here is at the edge of the paper. So now I can delete my second layer two. I'm going to fill my first layer two and then set the opacity way down. And then I'm going to merge my two layer ones together. So I'm going to tap on the top layer one. And the second from the bottom is merged down. And now I can fill in the blank area that I have created and then I'm going to repeat the process, duplicate layer one, duplicate layer two, make sure that I slide layers to the right to select the top layer two and the top layer one. And this time, whenever I hit the arrow, which is the transform tool, remember, I'm going to slide up. And once again, I need that to be the, the two blue dots that you see right here need to be at the top. And then the second layer two and the second layer one and slide them down. And make sure that the middle two dots blue dots right here are at the bottom. And then once again, I delete the bottom layer to fill the top layer to reduce the opacity and then merge layer ones together. And now I can fill in the extra areas here. Now you notice on this one, they overlapped. I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to use two finger tap to undo. There we go, that looks nice. And now to make sure that we have a good infinite pattern, we're once again going to do the right and the left. So duplicate layer one, duplicate layer two, top layer two, top layer one, over to the right, or to the left for me. 
and bottom layer two, bottom layer one over to the right. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm not really happy with this middle area here. I'd like to put one here, but it looks like I don't have enough room for it. So I'm going to use my selection tool. That's the S ribbon. I'm going to do a freehand selection. That's right here. It's the second one. Draw around one of the acorns. Now use the transform tool and move this over this way. And then just to make sure that I'm not going to overlap and have to undo a lot, I'm going to create a new layer and tap right there. And that, that actually looks good. Let's move it down here, though, and see if we can fit one right here. That's almost good. I'm going to draw around this one. Remember, only these two are on this layer, so that's all right to do it this way. I'm going to tap it down, and there we go. That's all nicely mixed up. I'm going to merge that layer down. I'm now going to turn off layer 2, duplicate layer 1, and turn off the bottom one. That way I can always undo what I've done. Now duplicate layer one three times, the top layer one. And so you end up with one, two, three, four layer ones. We are now going to use this to test whether or not our, inf our infinite pattern works. So use the transform. Remember we have the snapping information on. I'm going to take the top right blue dot and move it down until it snaps to the middle right there. You can see the four orange lines. And then we go down to the second layer one and we're going to go from the top left and move it down. And then the third layer one, I'm going to do the bottom right and move it up until it snaps to the middle. And then finally the last layer one I'm going to move it up from the bottom left, and that looks pretty good. Now I want to make sure that there isn't any obvious lines going on. So I'm going to pinch all four of these layer ones together, and once again duplicate three times. All right, now I'm going to take this top layer one once again, move it down to the middle. The second layer one from the left down to the middle. The third layer one from the bottom right down to the middle. And then the last layer one. There we go. And I'm not seeing any obvious repeats, you know, no little extra lines or anything going on. And that tells me that this is an excellent infinite pattern. I hope this has helped you out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.